Hello everyone, welcome back guys. Hope you all are doing well. This is Mohammed Badruddja and today we are going to solve lab number 4 from Web Cache Poisoning Vulnerability. We are covering this lab from Web Security Academy from Portsiger. Uh, before going further, this little disclaimer as always for you, this video and its content are only for educational and awareness purpose and I do not support any unethical or illegal act. That's been said, uh, today we are going to dive a bit deeper because up to now we exploit this web cache poisoning vulnerability as a whole for everyone whoever is going to visit that web website or web application everyone is going to get the same poisoned response from the cache but now in this lab we are going to target some specific uh, kind of users and we will see how we will do that so let's go the agenda of this lab is this lab is vulnerable to web cache poisoning a victim user will view any comment that you post so this is the first very interesting part uh, in real life scenario you have to identify this also but here because it's lab and to uh, make you more understand the conditions are there to solve this lab you need to poison the cache with a response that executes alert in the visitor's browser however you also need to make sure that the response is served to the specific subset of users to which the intended victim belongs so as i mentioned that we are going to target some specific kind of users so let's go this is the lab i'm going to start the web proxy on my browser and i'm going to access the home page so and here we get the first request here we get slash home or slash this is the main request but we also need to get or uh, load this resource which is tracking.js so we will see that in a minute but go to the uh, first request and the request is pretty normal but the response is interesting why because as we can see here there is cache controlled with the maximum age of 30 seconds so every response cached in the cache will sustain or stored in the cache for 30 seconds and because this is the first request so we get the response directly from the server not from the cache so that's why we get miss here and the third thing which is very very important in term of response header today is this very response header uh, i will come to this header in a minute but here the first thing we see that in the body there is a source or resource called which is resource slash j slash tracking.js so and it is called from the same server what we are accessing right so we see there is a huge possibility and this is 100 percent that uh, cache is used so i'm going to uh, first of all uh, see the parameter minor guess parameters and we need to guess the headers right so go to the guess header and make everything okay uh, make it default leave it default make okay so i already ran it to save the time and here if we go to parameter minor extender here we see it's already found x host so this is the header which we can use now go back to the proxy and i'm going to send this request to the repeater go to the repeater send the request again and here we can see we get the response now as we know that x host header is the valid header which we can use here so after host i'm going to put x host and the value of x host is going to be anything if you want to uh, test so you can use example.com or test php dot com okay and send this so uh, to do this our purpose is to uh, get the malicious response from the server so that we can inject somewhere or feed somewhere this uh, attacker controlled domain name so as you can see this resource tracking.js is now called from our controlled server fine so that means uh, we can get the malicious response from the server and now this response is, is stored in the uh, cache so anyone is going to access this endpoint okay uh, so it will going to get the same response what we feed in the cache what we poison in the cache cache right now back to the very header because we know there are two things cached key and uncached key up to now we see that uh, there are only 
two parameters used by the cached key which is first of all the method with the endpoint and the host header value right but now because in the response we see that there is a very header very response header so this response header means whatever the value of this header is going to be the header of the request so user agent is a header of the request means it is the request header that means if we change the user agent in the request the response is going to be affected fine that means this user agent is now also the part of the cached key that means cache will identify the request from this method and the endpoint then host and then the user agent that means if someone comes with chrome okay someone make the request from chrome so this user agent is going to change in the chrome okay someone is going to send from the safari browser it is going to uh, the request is going to made from the safari browser and the user agent value will be changed to the safari so the cache will identify also identify the request with user agent this time okay back to the lab and this time i am going to uh, exploit server so exploit server this you can consider the attacker server or attacker controlled server and what we are going to do here we are going to make the same resource tracking.js in the attacker server so first of all i am going to copy the path of it oh, sorry from here copy that and back to the exploit server paste this here and because this is the js file so uh, we can just put any java function to execute let's say here cybersec radar okay and store this fine now it's stored now go back here and instead of uh, putting test php this time i'm going to put here the genwin attacker controlled server which is this okay and now make the request and here in the body you can see the endpoint is totally changed and it's trying to access the tracking.js from our exploit server so send it again to get the hit and the response is stored in the cache now if you go back and make refresh or click the home button we should get alert here okay we get the alert so this is uh, this is the thing we already exploited the vulnerability and this is the whole picture and at that instant everyone who is going to try to access the application everyone will be exploited but the thing is in this lab we are going to target a specific kind of user so and how we will target them because of this header in the response because we know that the user agent if we change the user agent the uh, response is going to be affected and the cache will also identify the request okay uh, according to the user agent also so if we make here instead of mozilla if we put here chrome so the cache will identify the request according to user agent coming from chrome only so if you uh, access the application from the mozilla you will not be affected but anyone who is accessing the application from the chrome is going to get the alert right okay but the thing is how you will verify that and there is a condition that the victim user will go to see your comment so here if we go to any blog let's say i go to this blog view post okay and here there is a section where we comment um, in the real life scenario you you will not going to see this html is allowed or not allowed maybe uh, the application is sanitizing so even you put the uh, html here it's not going to work but uh, you have to bypass it but this is the lab so here we can put some html let's say src which is going to be um, https colon slash slash and our exploit server fine uh, before going to comment uh, comment this i want to show you something if we go to the exploit server and go to the access log okay go to the access log so access log will actually give you all the logs whoever 
is trying to access your exploit server attacker exploit server and what information you will get here you will get the target ip here you will get the time here you will get the http request method okay and the endpoint so you can see there is this endpoint so someone actually trying to access from our exploit server tracking.js and then the user agent value so as you can see right now the user agent is mozilla firefox this is our user agent my user agent but if someone coming from chrome or someone coming from somewhere else we will see here another type of another value of user agent right so that's why what we do here we intentionally put here uh, a different endpoint so that we can identify the request let's say cybersec and slash cybersec now the name is going to be cybersec email is going to be cybersec at radar dot local or whatever and just post this comment so the comment is successfully posted now back to the blog and see the comment so we should have our comment here so as you can see our comment is posted now come back here and just send this request again to make sure that everything is working and come back here okay go to the exploit server and we are already in the access log page just refresh it so if anyone any user come to see that post or that try to access that particular blog comment section because the comments are automatically loaded with the view post so here we get something that someone try to access slash cybersec okay and as you can see here this is maybe yes but this one is something else and what this is mozilla firefox apple webkit and chrome safari also so that means this is someone else okay so what we do here we want to victimize this particular type of users whoever coming with safari or chrome or this maybe there could be only chrome or there could be only safari but uh, here we are going to see we are going to understand the methodology so uh, okay just copy that come back to the burp suite and here instead of our user agent what we are going to do here we are going to paste this uh, user agent value which we want to victimize or target so just send this request again and fine everything is okay we already uh, poisoned this but this time we poison the user agent also send it again and this time we will get the hit here hit let's go back back here and just try to refresh it as soon as possible before the application before the cache is going to store just send this again okay so everything is fine but the thing is we did not solve the lab because why because we did not put here maybe document dot cookie so document dot cookie store it again okay so everything is good go to the access log we already store it come back here and before making the request i would like to we are already in the post right this post so just send this um do we paste the user agent value wrong or what refresh it send that at this point lab should solve and yes congratulations you have solved the lab so that is the thing i hope you understand if you have any query please put your query in the comment section see you in the next video bye